Hey guys, Amit here for Phone Radar and this is the Samsung Galaxy J3. Now this is the latest phone from Samsung which has an MRP of uh, rupees 8,990 rupees. Again, this is a make in India but clearly mentioned that make for India and that's the Samsung tagline for the Indian devices. Now the device comes with a Super AMOLED display, ultra data surging feature and NFC. Yes, you are seeing NFC at this price point from Samsung. Now this is a 5-inch device with a HD display which is a Super AMOLED uh, panel that would clearly be pretty good and it comes with a 8 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel front camera. Talking about the internal storage, it comes with a 8 GB of storage and in terms of the RAM, the device comes with a 1.5 GB of RAM. Overall, you need to activate this SIM with the Indian SIM card only which is okay because after using it for a few minutes, it's good to go and uh, let's open up the package and uh, do the unboxing of the same again if you clearly notice the device has been made in india that's clearly mentioned in this area and uh, probably that's the reason the device is not really that uh, perfectly packed if you notice there's a uh, lot of wobbling around the whole package and a uh, lot of uh, not perfect cuts i would say all on all the sides that's it let's open up the package and here within the package we have this pretty slim device again it feels also light obviously because there is no battery in it so let's pull out everything else so here within the package what you first get is the quick start guide then the SAR certification booklet then the regional log guide and the warranty card so this is what all you get within the package next there is an uh, earphone which is in white color a micro usb cable which seems to be pretty small enough and this is a Samsung tra branded uh, travel adapter again this is uh, going to charge in the normal speed and not a fast charger and here is the battery now when you talk about this battery it comes with a uh, capacity of 2600 mAh and uh, here is the phone I can do make a note that the phone actually supports uh, 4G speeds which is pretty good let's remove few of these uh, plastic protectors and take a look on the device itself again this is a 5 inch device do make a note of that so this is another device from samsung in the recent times which has been uh, launched to probably combat with the other devices in the market in the competitive price segment that's below 10,000 rupees we had earlier seen the samsung galaxy on 5 and on 7 also launched at around uh, 10 to 12,000 rupees and here is a device so let's pull out these protections from the camera which is very important to pull out and then on the back you have this uh, micro SD card uh, slot and the sim card 1 and sim card 2 it's clearly also mentioned here that this is made in India by Samsung so it's not just the packaging but looks like a lot of uh, things are uh, actually made in India so let's push everything back in and uh, boot up the phone so here is the boot up screen on the right of the phone you have the on off switch on the left you have the volume rockers on the top you have the 3.5 mm jack and around the battery area is the NFC on the bottom you have the micro USB port and uh, a microphone while on the back you also have this 8 megapixel rear camera with autofocus, LED flash and the speaker grills there is also the Samsung branding and the 4G mention there is nothing else on the back and this is what you get on the first screen so let's proceed with the given settings and uh, Take you to the home screen directly so here we are onto the home screen of this phone now here are a few application shortcuts and widgets while on the app drawer area you find a lot of other applications now do make a note there are a few bloatware applications like pre-installed applications like the opera max midnight pool 2 prince of persia and few other games but that's okay let me just try check if i can uninstall them and no i cannot uninstall them unless i am uh, rooting this phone or uh, doing something like that so that's not possible let's quickly go to the settings first which is under the notifications area here's a shortcut and uh, check out the about area so here under the software information you can notice that the phone is running on android 5.1.1 that's lollipop and uh, the build number is mentioned here of course the device name is samsung galaxy j3 2016 and uh, let's go back and check out the storage so since the device comes with 8gb of storage uh, total available storage is 4.26 and uh, you can notice that uh, around 547mb has been used which is primarily for the bloatware applications which is uh, here so not these but uh, the ones which have been um, primarily pre come pre installed so few, at least 300 to 400 mb has gone to that so around 4.5 gb is available to you 
talking about the camera the device comes with a 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera so let's go to the settings and show you the camera option so here by default the camera is on 6 megapixel that's 6 inch to 9 aspect ratio while when you switch to that you can also notice that the video recording is just limited to 720p not even 1080p and uh, these are few of the options which you get here there are also a few modes which you can go through and uh, there's also this burst mode which could capture photos in burst mode while uh, these are few of the options so here is the demo of the front uh, camera and it's pretty crisp, crisp enough let's try to zoom in it does not zoom into the selfie but that's okay so we are on to the rear camera let me quickly capture a photo and here is a capture which has been done with this camera pretty good enough at 8 megapixel it's okay as you can see the depth and everything else is uh, defocused in the background decent enough i would say while the home button is still not that comfortable because it's a little bit slimmer when compared to the other devices like i have this uh, s7 with me which has a pretty larger home button and uh, that how it works so there's a, a big difference in uh, the size of this home button and that's pretty not convenient here is the multitasking option where you can close all the applications in one go and this is the back button of course overall a pretty slim device when compared with uh, a few other devices and pretty good uh, in hand feel and this is samsung galaxy j3 which has been launched at a price of 8990 rupees if you have any questions don't forget to tweet to us at phone blog and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share subscribe this is Amit signing off and hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.